A heady brew. We made a beer. Let's drink it. Let's drink the beer, Tom. I have the compound. It hisses and steams in its container like some living thing. A witch's jelly to burn and corrode. The container is made from glass. A strange choice, unless there is some particular reason why the metal that pervades everywhere else cannot be brought into contact with this so-called compound X. I should investigate further clues. We read! We read that it totally, like... Can eat metal. It, it, it eats metal, so it makes complete sense as to why it's in glass. I don't think this guy remembers what he reads. Seems to be the case. Oh, oh Raymond, I dropped it. It's broken. Dropped it's it. broken. No, no, we're okay. It's good. See, I'll show you. There's no cracks. Good, good. Perfect. I figured it out, Tom. It just dawned on me. This is ooze. And we, is somebody who's trying to make the Ninja Turtles, but they didn't have any turtles, so they used pigs instead. That's, yes. Everything we've done is legitimate now that we've thought about it in terms of Ninja Turtles. That's right. There's nothing wrong with making Ninja Turtles. No. What are we going to do with Compound X now that we have it? Tom, we're going to use it on the... Chain. Oh, good. Yeah. And then we're gonna wiggle it around. We're gonna. No. Well. well I, you know, I thought that was gonna work. It will. We just what the frog? There's a dissected frog on the table there. Oh, that's... <laughs> Look at it doing its little froggy dance. <laughs> oh, I need to do that, Tom. I need to... That's, that was important for me. It's, it's important to decompress a little bit with a little frog dance. Okay. Um. Got an idea, Tom. What says you to this? Oh, ho-ho. Yeah. yeah. Woo! Would you look at that? Turn you back over here now. We're just gonna blind the pig as it comes up the stairs. It won't follow us. Nice. Raymond's a science genius. Look at him. I am so smart. Tom, you have no idea. So now's where you want to play, right? Right? We can, we can pretend. Oh, fuck, there's blood, there's blood on the ground, Tom. There's blood on the ground. Oh, come on, Raymond. We've come too far to be scared by such trifle -tees. Tr Trifles? Such trifles as blood on the ground. Everything is shaking around me. This game is fucking evil, Tom. Faster, faster. I'm not going fast. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, children. Fucking kids. Fuck you. Oh, great. Here we go. Down the ladder we go. Just look at the wall. Fuck. There's no ladder here. I'm gonna break my legs if I jump down to this thing, Tom. It's alright. Just down some compound X at the ground. Okay, here we go. Here we go. The leaking world. All these nails and no wood. What kind of carpenter are you? That figure cannot help but opens its arms to you. Where is the strength of that? The fuck are they talking about? I'm just not no. sure, actually. Alright then. Ow. That hurt. <coughs> Why do I always wake up like this? Just... Is this manure? There's shit on the ground everywhere. 
Just a human skull. Yeah, no big deal. Just a skull. It doesn't even break like a skull would. Well, you didn't throw it very shit. hard. You don't know my strength. Fuck. They would put us in like a creepy industrial area into an even creepier sewage area. Fuck. October 22nd, 1899. Naturally, once bled, the product must be scalded, dehaired, and scraped ready for... Fur for gambrolling. Gambrolling. Whatever. And evisceration. They're gonna eviscerate them? Tom? I'm not surprised. Okay. For this, we passed them through the steam reservoir, which is kept at a constant temperature by passing excess high pressure venting from the engines via the boiler and series of large copper pipes into a stone chamber just below the workhouse. At the center of the machine, there is a component that must be kept at a consistently low temperature, which controls operations of the processing of product throughout the system. Alongside this, refrigeration is the utmost importance in retaining product quality, and this also requires that to be removed from certain areas of the machine, two problems are therefore combined onto a single solution. The removal of heat from some areas and the requirements for increased heat in others. Conducting panels draw heat using principles of convention regulated by the boiler and sending freezing air along one set of pipes in one direction and superheated vapors in another. I don't think I retained any of what I just read. I was thinking of, like, nice things. Right. Like just daisies and flowers, butterflies... Isn't it dangerous allowing this filthy discharge to collect so close to the core? We can use the flow to drive the turbines. There will always be a torrent of excreta flooding through these tunnels. We can use this to supplement the steam production and ensure constancy. Thank God, the stench! This fecal matter is the true product of the age. Oh, uh, what? There's something in the water. Ah. Uh... It's amnesia all over again. Yeah. Literally. The flooded tunnels. Mysterious friend is correct. The sewers are indeed flooded. To descend further, I will have to find the local sluice pumps to drop the water levels. The smell is almost unbearable. It makes me gag. Why should the saboteur have flooded the tunnels, though? What did he hope to achieve? So I have to turn off my flashlight here. Crouch. Alright. Because otherwise, there's something in the water. Which doesn't uh. make sense. Like, this is not the monster from Amnesia. This is, I mean, technically, yeah, this is an Amnesia game and this is a monster in it, but... But from, yeah, there's not been any direct connection between A Dark Descent and this game that I've picked up on, at least. Right. I must beat Dark Descent, though, to be fair. <laughs> That's true. Because fuck that game. That game actually gave me a nightmare. I don't have nightmares, Tom. Wow. But one nightmare was produced from that game. And, uh... Luckily, I haven't had any of that from this game. Not yet. But I have had this game in my dreams. But it's completely from, like, a work aspect. <laughs> um, so you've had you've had dreams about the brightness levels. <laughs> the brightness levels. Yeah, the plague that video recording brings me. Okay. Alright, so we gotta cross the bridge with the creepy yeah. thing in the water underneath it. It's gonna drop me into the water, isn't it? Oh, is it? It better fucking not. I'll be pissed. <laughs> I don't know where this thing is. This bridge looks perfectly sturdy. Old, I'm gonna die here, old Tom. but sturdy. I'm gonna die here. Alright. Want you to be prepared for that. Here goes nothing. One. Two. Three. made it. Oh, 
Oh jeez, is that an open pathway to the water off to your left? Oh no. I don't know. We're gonna have to choose to go into the water, Raymond. No. No, I don't think that's what's gonna happen. Fuck. Oh. Fuck. Where do I go? I can't go into the water without knowing where I go. Sluice gate one. That's true. We should have a plan going into the water. Yeah. Where can we climb out of the water on the other side? Well, there's little, like, mounds of poop Yeah. in the water. I think we need to stand on those. I think whatever's in the water can't hurt us if we stand on those. That would be the gaming trope that I'm going to rely on. All right. The poop will save us. The chair is on the centrifuge, Raymond. The chair is on the centrifuge. Even if we can't see it, we can hold it in our hearts, it's true. We... we can. Um... Actually... I think that we're going around the outside. Like, if you go look down the stairs off to... off to the left a little. Those, yeah. Those go into the water, but like, it's a... No, that does. No, it doesn't. Oh, it doesn't? No. It's not wet down there's there? A, there's a gate all the way around it. Oh, okay. Like, a fence. Oh, good. Good, we don't have to go in the water at all, then. It's... I don't. I don't know where to go. Oh. But just. Oh. Down the. Yeah. Whatever is in there doesn't like me, though. Yeah, I'm just. <laughs> I'm just gonna go over here and just. Uh, Wait it no. Out. No, Tom. No! I don't... What? I don't... I don't want to go in there. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm gonna call Dewey and tell him to come over here. We need to call in for backup. <laughs> I can't... I can't physically go into this hallway. You can do it, Raymond. I don't know if I can. The viewers need you to go down the hallway. We believe in you. <laughs> viewers, myself included. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> the chair is on the centrifuge, Raymond. No, it isn't! Fuck! You deny? You deny yeah. that the chair is on the center. You need to be quiet as much as I don't want you to be. <sighs> I can hear it. It's so close to me, Tom. It's so fucking close. Fuck. Fuck. Oh god. Like, it sounds like it's like in the wall. We know how good those can be. Sorry, the laptop turned off. We need to turn that back on. <laughs> I need to. It's a comfort light. It is. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I can go left and go away from the noise. Is that. Can I do that? It's up to you, man. Can I go. Okay, going this way, away from the noise, like any sensible person would. Right. Just don't look behind you ever. Okay, I won't. I did that last time, and the fucking thing came out of the wall. Oh no. Are we... no. No, we're in a different place, we're in a different place. Okay. 
Although there's access to the water here. Oh no. Oh god. Oh no. Not that. Um. Um. Shit. <laughs> I think I see what I need to turn right there. All right. We know it's over there. Oh. I'm in the water. I'm technically, I'm technically in the water. I'm glad that it hasn't I'm rushed at us yet. Oh, oh it's rushing geez. now! It's a pig, it squeals! It's a water what pig. Am what am I supposed to do? <sighs> Go this way, I guess. I guess I have no choice but to go this way. Fuck, Tom. I don't know, like, it definitely looks like we're gonna have to get over there and turn it at some point, but there's a pig that will murder us if we go over there. Uh, oh. Shut up. You shut your whore mouth. Before I shove my dick in it. It's okay, Raymond. Let it out. Let it all out. I, I will. Okay, this room is safe. There's a note. I can read and console myself while I read it. Several of the older forms have breached the containment area and escaped into the sewers. They remind me of my limitations. There is no Kelm and I am no Elahu. What? what? I have no clue who those characters are. Alright then. At least not quite yet. It is the heat generated from keeping the doorway between open, between open, that is to blame, that doesn't make sense. We cannot simply pack them about with the coolant as we do at the center where the doorway is. The later versions are kept safe by the freezing temperatures of those towers. Up here, where the air is hot and fetid, they become overheated and their duality tears them asunder. As the other place flies from their cells and their viti splinters. They live sporadically, torn from one world to the other and back again in violent, unpredictable bursts. For a few seconds, they are creatures of this world. Then they are torn away and cease to have physical form. This vicious ripping back and forth between worlds has driven them quite insane. I have ordered the affected areas sealed and will not allow my loyal workers to enter. These are damned places now, the abode of failed experiments, ghosts of fear and spite. Great. Good. That's nice. That's, I'm, that's Wonderful. where we have but to can go. Can I get a phone call? Please, can I have a phone call? Fuck. So, not only oh, Sluice 1 and Sluice 2 are gonna have to light things up and come back here. Or wait, oh. oh. Phone call! I got a phone call!